can you know you have been forgiven of sins? It's a good question, isn't it? Because you see, forgiveness of sins is not something that's tangible, folks. When you receive the forgiveness of your sins, God doesn't write you a letter and say, Vic was forgiven of sins on this particular date, sign God, and give that to you. He doesn't give you a very formal form that has the divine insignia upon it with His signature on it stating, Vic has been forgiven of all of his transgressions. You see, we don't have anything just tangible when it comes to the forgiveness of sin. There are three main elements involved in our forgiveness. Number one, the blood of Jesus Christ. Hebrews 9.22, without shedding of blood, there is no remission. You see, in order for sin to be forgiven, there has to be a life that is given for that sin. Fortunately, Jesus' blood was shed, was it not? Jesus says in Matthew 26, 28, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many, watch this, for the remission of sins. Paul says in Ephesians 1, 7, In whom we have redemption through His blood, even the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace. Revelation 1, verse 5, Unto Him that loved us and washed us from our sins in His own blood blood. So we have first of all the shedding of the Son of God's blood for our sins. But folks, not everybody is going to be forgiven of sins even though our Lord died for all. Because you see there has to be the application of that blood in the lives of individuals. And we learn about how to apply that blood in our lives, in the pages of God's holy and divine Word. It is as if our Lord has given us a prescription in this book. We go to the doctor, we're sick. The doctor writes out a prescription and he hands it to us. And he says, do this and you'll what? Do this and you'll get well. God says, do this and you'll be forgiven. And there are certain things that man must do. One of those is man must believe. When Peter was in the household of Cornelius in Acts 10.43, he spoke these words to those individuals. To him, that is Jesus, gave all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth on him shall have remission of sin. So belief is absolutely essential to the forgiveness of sins. Sadly, there are some individuals who take passages like that, lift them out of their context, don't go study any other passages of Scripture and say, all you have to do is believe. But folks, what about Acts 5.31? The Bible says there, Him, again talking about Jesus, Him hath God raised up with His right arm to be a prince and a savior, for to give Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. You see, there has to be repentance before there can be the forgiveness of sins as well. It's not a matter of just having faith in Jesus Christ, although that's absolutely essential to the forgiveness of sins. There also has to be repentance in order to receive the remission of sins. But then lastly, what about Acts 2.38? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. Isn't it interesting that Peter includes repentance and baptism for the forgiveness of sins? Folks, in order for you and me to be forgiven of sins, God says we must believe, 
We must repent of our transgressions and then we must be immersed, baptized into Christ in order to receive the forgiveness of sins. It is then and there that you and I have the blood applied to our lives and have our sins washed away. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into His death. Romans 6 verse 3. It's in His death that He shed His blood. When I'm baptized into Jesus Christ, all of my sins are cleansed and washed away. So we have first of all what? The blood of Jesus. We have secondly the application of that blood in my life. But thirdly, there has to be my faith in God. You see, God has spoken, hasn't He? I sent my Son. He shed His blood for you. Now if you will do these certain things, I will forgive you of your transgressions. God has spoken. Now I have to believe that God is faithful, don't I? I have to believe deep within my heart that what God said is real, that what God said is genuine, that it can be trusted, that I can base my soul on what God has said. And so I do that. I put my trust firmly in Him. And folks, when I do what God tells me to do, guess what? I know. I'm forgiven of my sin. The Bible says the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The Spirit of God tells me what I need to do in order to be saved in the pages of God's Word. My spirit does exactly what the Spirit of God tells me needs to be done. My spirit bears witness with the Spirit of God and it tells me I am a child of God. I know I'm saved because I've done what God told me to do. That's how I know. So can we know? Absolutely. Do what God says and you'll be forgiven. 